Hey guys and welcome back to another Unmentioned 4 tutorial. In today's video we're going to be going over a basic way of making enemy drop loot when you kill them or just when they die. So again this is a very simple version which you can expand upon very easily. So let me hit play and I'll show you what we're going to make today. So in my simple example to kill them I just have to walk into them. So I'm going to do that and then he spawns loot there. Now again for me it's just a simple shape I can't pick it up I can't do anything else with it but I'm going to be showing you how to spawn in the loot blueprint when you kill the enemy and then you can easily expand from the loot yourself and again it's going to be random each time as well so it's going to spawn in random loot whenever you kill them it won't be the same each and every time so again you can see it's going to be different now I only have four different loots which can spawn so it's not going to be that random but you can see it, it is random there so again this is what we made today and I will tell you where and how to advance upon this but I'm going to be doing this very simple basic version here today so this is what we made today so without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our enemy AI blueprint. So for me that's here just called AI loot drop as that's what I'm doing in this example. And again you can see here this is my code for killing it, event hit, if it's a character that walked into it, it's just going to destroy the actor. Very very simple code which I have set up here just to use as an example. Now down underneath this what I'm going to do is right click and add a custom event and I'm going to name this one drop loot or drop random loot or name it anything which makes sense for you. And out of this what I want to do is I want to make sure that the loot is always spawned on the floor. So to do that we need to find out where the floor is. So what I'm going to do is drag out of this and get a line trace by channel like so. And for the start and end location we just want to go down towards the floor. So start is going to be get actor location very simply like so so it's going to start where the AI is and the end wants to just be straight down so we get the actual location get a vector minus vector and we're just going to minus let's say 200 on the Z so just put in 200 not minus 200 so it's going to start where the AI is go down 200 units to find out where the floor is now you can increase this if you need to but for me in this example I don't need to obviously the bigger the AI the higher this value will need to be and what I'm also going to do is actors to ignore, I'm going to drag off that and make array and I'm going to drag into this array the get player character and what that does is it means that this line trace can't interact with the character because what might happen is the player might be so close to the AI that the line trace will hit the player and then spawn the loot on the player which we obviously don't want so if we just make sure this line trace is ignoring the player it's going to go straight through down towards the floor which is going to be a lot better for what we want. And then after this, I'm going to come out with the out hit and break hit result. I'm going to open it up like so, because like I say, we want to find the location of where this hits, because this is going to hit the floor. So we want the location of the floor, so the loot is always going to be spawning on the floor, not floating in midair, not underneath the ground or anything like that. It's going to be exactly where we want it. And again, drag out of line trace by channel, and I'm going to get a spawn actor from class like so. So we've got a spawn actor. And the class we're going to set up in a minute, but this is going to be the loot. And the spawn transform, what I want to do is make transform like so. And all we want to do with this make transform is connect the location from the break hit result into the location of the make transform like so. And that is going to work perfectly for us. So you can change the rotation and the scale as well if you want to, but for me that's not going to be necessary. So this is going to work perfectly for me. For the location you can maybe get random values, so actually just to show you that, just to again add something onto it, I will do that. So I'll come out of the rotation and make rotator, as you can see down here. And what I'm going to do is leave the X and Y at 0, and the Z I'm going to get a random float in range. Like so, the range being 0 and 360. So it's just going to be anywhere in a circle. Again we only want the Z, so it's going to spin around on its Z axes, so it's on the floor not X and Y so it's not tipping over or anything like that. And the scale I want to leave as just one so it's not going to get bigger or smaller. So again you can customize this really easily to get it perfect for how you want. Now the important part here is the class and what I want to do is make sure that there's going to be random loot each time. So the class I'm going to select like so just get a simple select node and simply we can just add in as many pins as we want. So I have four different loots which I want to spawn in so I'm going to have option 0, option 1, add two more pins so I have four different options here like so. 
and the index is going to be random integer like so with the max being three because we have three different integers well four but we have zero one two three which is four so the max is three so that way it's just going to pick one of these four different options which we have here and we can now obviously input these in here so i'm going to have loot drop one loot drop two three and four and so on and so forth so we have all of the loot drops which we want and again yours might not be named loot drop i just named them that as an example but just input all of your different loot into this select which you want to be able to spawn randomly so we've got a random chance for it to spawn loot drop one two three or four and it's going to be a 25 percent chance for each one as i only have four different options and that is very simply how we're going to do it so we're going to drop loot find out where the floor is and we're going to spawn a random actor on the floor based on four different things so it'll be one of those four actors and let's say you may want to spawn in more than one actor what you can simply do is well firstly up here to spawn in one actor what you're going to do or one loot is simply call the function of drop loot there and now just before the ai dies it's going to drop the loot but if you wanted to spawn in more than one so let's say the ai drops three loot what we can do is just before drop loot i'm going to get a four loop like so just a normal four loop the loot body drop loot and completed is destroy actor so it's going to drop the loot for as many times as we want and then after it's finished that it's also going to destroy the actor as you can see here so the first index i'm going to leave as zero last index let's get a random integer so again it's going to be random amounts of loot dropping each time and i'm going to have the max as three so this will drop a random amount of loot each time and we're going to compile and save that and one thing we also want to do is just double check the collision handling override on here so you can see it's going to be default and what i'm going to do is try to adjust location don't spawn if colliding and what that means is it's always going to try and spawn the actor and if it's going to be colliding it will move its spawn location to fit where it needs to go but if there's going to be nowhere where it can spawn it's just not going to spawn so this is going to then work perfectly for us so i'm going to compile save move these out so they're a bit more spread out and then we can test this out so i might also just delete a few of these just to again get them more spread out and now let's hit play so i'm going to walk into this one you can see that didn't drop any loot that time but walk into this one that also didn't drop any loot so let's see if this actually is broken which it might be so let's double check that out and let's have a look and so the problem is the collision isn't going to be working amazingly when trying to do this so they're going to spawn on top of each other like that or not spawn so what i might try and do and i don't know if this will work but it's worth a shot is i'm going to right click and get random reachable point in radius now usually you would use this for ai so you can see where the ai can go but i think this might work well for this as well so the random location is going to go into the location of the make transform the origin is going to be the location of this break hit result which we have here so connect those in like so and the radius is how big of an area we want to spawn around the ai so i'm going to set that as 100 and now let's test this out again and see if this works so we go into it and you can see it is still just spawning in the same location but maybe 100 is too small of a radius so let's set it to a thousand and see if that one works better instead and now you can see that is working but a thousand is too big so this does work for what we want and i'll set it to 500 see if that works any better and that does work so again you just need to mess about with it so we'll set this to 200 and see if that works any better you can see that is now working so it's going to be spawn the loot and i think i will just leave this back onto default and again this is now what we've got so we had to make a minor adjustment halfway through there so sorry about that uh, it's because i kind of just added on the spawning multiple loots halfway through the video didn't plan for that beforehand but we did get the bug fixed out so again sorry if that took a little bit longer but we've got it working so we can spawn in as many loot as we want either no loot random out of loot the loot itself will be random and this does work for how we want it to be so we hit play again and i think that'll be it for this video so we've done everything we want to do we set it up so we can kill the ai it will drop loot it will drop random amounts of loot in random locations around the ai and the loot itself will also be random as well and it will also always spawn on the floor so again i think this works perfectly now we've made some minor adjustments to make it work a lot better but as you can see the ai dies spawns random loot in random locations around the player in random amounts as well
And obviously you can change this to be different for each type of AI. So we'll have different types of loot, different spawn rates and all that great stuff as well. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.